Hello guys, I hope all of you are fine. So in today's lecture, we will be discussing the conversion of NFA to DFA. Uh, so most of the questions that I have received in my class that why we are converting from NFA to DFA. The, so the one of the reason is that NFA you have a single state giving a single state given a simple single input can give you multiple outputs so it means it leads to somewhere uh, we don't know which state we should lead up to let's say if q0 is given an input symbol zero like for an example uh, we have uh, been given a symbol q0 when it is given a it is giving me q1 q2 so it means i'm not certain from q0 that where should i lead up to whether i should lead up to q1 or whether should i lead to q2 so this is a very important question to be answered and this is NFA to us. So obviously NFA is non-deterministic finite automata. So non-deterministic finite automata is an automata that, uh, that gives you this kind of non-determinism. Uh, and uh, again, uh, so to solve this kind of issue, uh, we can convert uh, NFA, which is non-deterministic finite automata to DFA. DFA, everything is certain. So if you have given a single input, it gives you a single output. It will not give you two output states altogether that we take in NFA. So to solve this particular question, so I have one question which is given to me. I'll solve two examples in this lecture. The first example is uh, that I have been given uh, an automata with Q0, Q1. There are two input states which are given and 0 and 1 are two input symbols it means if i have to convert it to dfa i must have every state given single transition with 0 and 1 and uh, we have got a transition and q0 and uh, q0 is actually your initial state and this is your accepting state as per the question even your diagram guys even your diagram uh, you can see uh, your transition table uh, you see q0 is given 0 it goes to q0 q0 is given 1 it goes to q1 q1 it is given 0 it goes to q1 and q1 it uh, given 1 it goes to q0 and q1 again so there is uh, this kind of uncertainty which is there in this nfa where q1 is given 1 it is giving either q0 or q1 so we don't know what is the right set of output that we should get so to solve this particular part how will I solve it? So there are two tricks to solve it. Two tricks. The first trick is copy, copy exactly same transitions from initial state. Copy exactly same transitions from initial state. Ditto copy and paste. It means I will copy the same transition from this initial state. I'll create a table. So I will tell you about that. But Q0 when it is given 0, it goes to Q0. Q0 when it is given 1, it goes to Q1. So exactly ditto copy paste I will do. And secondly, whatever construction you have done, construct DFA at runtime depending upon depending upon states in the table. It means I will construct DFA as per whatever the states that I have, whatever states I have on the table. So again, copy ditto same transitions from initial state and i will construct dfa at runtime only so how will i construct just see this was the question this was the question now how will i construct firstly i will write zero and one and I'll directly copy the first row directly, or you can also term it as a row, right? So it means I will write Q0. It is given zero, it goes to Q0. 
Q0 is given one, it goes to Q1. Correct? I hope this first step is clear. Ditto copy paste. So after this copy paste, now you might be uh, saying, sir, that uh, you haven't copied Q0 and then final state of Q0. I will take about take care of final state later. Now, the second step. Construct DFA at runtime depending the state depending upon the states in the table. Now, guys, I obviously this step this table I will use for reference, but here it will not give me the final output. My final output is obtained from this table only. So over here, Q0, when it is given 0, it goes to Q0. Q0 is given 1, it goes to Q1. I will check which table. I will check this table only. I'll check this table only. How will I check? Again, I will check Q0, given 0, it goes to Q0. I will check whether Q0 is processed. By processing, what I mean that I will check on the left hand side of this. On the left hand side of it, we have got Q0, which is already there in, in this table. It means it is already processed. It is already on left side and it is already processed. I will not process this further. And there is also another option which is given to us, which is Q1. So Q1. When it is uh, Q0, when it is given 1, it goes to Q1. So I will check whether Q1 is processed or not. Obviously, Q1 is not on left hand side of this table. So I will write Q1 over here. Hopefully, this step is clear. Here again, I repeat Q0, when it is given 0, it goes to Q0. Q0, when it is given 1, it goes to Q1. This is a reference I have taken from the previous table. So I will check this Q0. Whether it is processed or not, obviously it is processed on the left side. Then it is also giving Q1. Whether it is processed or not, it is definitely not processed on left side. So that's why I have written this particular part. Now, now Q1. Now I will check Q1. Guys, I will check Q1 from the reference table. The reference table says Q1 when it is given 0, it goes to Q1. And Q1, when it is given 1, it is going to Q0, Q1. Now, over here, I will take this Q0, Q1 as a part of separate set. This set is containing both states. So, this is a single state representing two states. It means that I have created a set of two states. That set is actually representing a single state. It means Q0, Q1 is a combined state now. Fine. So it means I, I will just write the table. The table is uh, with 0 and 1. Uh, so the question, this is 0 and this is 1. We have got Q0 is given 0. It is giving me Q0, Q1. Q1 when I process it, it gave me in the previous part, it was giving me Q1 and Q0, Q1. Now I am not taking Q0, Q1 as a different state, two different states. I'm taking them as a group uh, of two states or a single state representing two states. Now I will check whether Q1 is processed or not. Yes, Q1 is processed on left side. I will check whether Q0, Q1 as a separate state is processed. It's not processed. So I will put Q0, Q1 as a part of another possible state and I will check its transitions. Now, guys, again, uh, it's very important. Initially, we copied the first row directly Q0, Q0, Q1. Then I checked Q0, yes, it is processed on left side. Then I checked Q1, Q1 was not processed. So that's why I wrote this answer. I've got Q1, Q1 uh, is given Q1 with 0. And Q1 with 1, it is giving me Q0, Q1. So I checked Q1, Q1 is processed on left side. And now it is giving me Q0, Q1. So I have to process Q0, Q1. So what? how will I check? Again, I will check just from this part. Q0, when it is given 0, what it gives? It gives Q0. Q1 when it is given 0, it go, it gives Q1. So I have got with the Q0, Q1, it is uh, giving this particular answer. Uh, so Q0 when it is given 0, it goes to Q0. 
and q1 when it is given 0 it goes to q1 so this is one answer right similarly q0 when it is given 1 it is giving me q1 and this q1 when it is given 1 it is giving me q0 comma q1 guys clearly q1 and q1 are coming two times so one of the q1 you can skip it is giving me q1 comma q0 it's one and the same thing q0 comma q1 or q1 comma q0 it's one and the same thing now i will check what is left so see i am taking the reference from the previous table but i am constructing dfa using this table only so i will check this answer q0 comma q1 is it processed yes it is processed this q1 comma q0 is it processed yes it is processed on left side so there is nothing left so this is my final uh, this is my final dfa now here i have taken the separate state of combined states as q0 comma q1 now this is a separate state which is a combination of both states instead of representing two different states all together this is one case and uh, how we are going to construct it the construction is simple we start from q0 it is given 0 it goes to itself it is given 1 it goes to q q1 right q1 when it is given 0 it goes to itself when it is given 1 it is going to a separate state which is referred as q0 comma q1 q1 comma q0 uh, it is given 0 it goes to itself and when it is given 1 it is going to itself now what will be the final state you just have to check the previous table the in previous table my final state was q0 so wherever q0 is coming that becomes final state means uh, over here q0 this is also becoming final and q0 is also coming over here as a combination of q0 q1 so this is also becoming final state so there will be two accepting states this is q0 and there will be this also as a final state so why i made q0 and q0 comma q1 as final states because q0 was a final state in nfa so that's how you basically convert nfa to df it's as simple First step, direct copy paste the first row. Secondly, process one state at a time. So if we started with processing of Q0, we, it gave me Q0 and Q1. So Q0 was already processed on left side. So that's why we proceeded with Q1. So Q1 gave me Q1 as Q0, Q1. So Q0, Q1 as taken as a separate state. So Q1 was already processed on left side. So that's why we proceeded with Q0, Q1. So Q0, Q1. Uh, process differently so q0 just checked with 0 it gave me q0 q1 checked with 0 it gave me q1 q0 when it is given 0 it uh, gave us q1 and q1 when it is given 1 it is giving me q1 comma q0 so we skipped one of the q0 so that's the final answer this is how you convert nfa to dfa uh, so we have the second question with us where we have been given a machine and that machine is having the initial state and it is also having a final state so just a minute yeah it is having the final state and this is your initial state so we have to basically construct a dfa as per the equivalence of this nfa so nfa we have given this as phi you know phi means that there is no transition of q2 with a so it is definitely going to be an incomplete dfa that will be constructed but again now the important thing is that we should avoid that particular condition where a single input can give multiple outputs over here with q2 when it is given b it is giving q0 and q1 so it means it is not certain where it is actually going so how we will be doing it uh, i'm constructing a as well as b right so we have got q0 so q0 when it is given a uh, simple trick was the initial part you are going to initial row you're going to copy and paste so q0 it is giving us q0 comma q1 as well as q2 now the important point in this particular condition is that q0 when it is given a it is going with q0 and q1 and it is given it is going with q2 so neither q0 comma q1 is processed 
nor q2 is processed so i am writing them as per my convenience and i am not checking at the the table which is given to us this is the table this table i'm not checking i'm just checking at the runtime answers q0 comma q1 and q2 q0 comma q1 is a combined state now so it will behave as a single state only so i'll just check how q0 is getting processed so q0 when it is given a it is obviously going q1 q0 comma q1 and q1 when it is given a you just check from this it is giving q0 so guys q0 and q0 there is multiple q0 so one of the q0 has to be removed i am removing this q0 right so we have q0 when it is given b it is giving q2 and q1 when it is given b you just check from this q1 when it is given b it is giving q1 so i'm writing q1 for checking the uh, for checking the transitions we take this table as a reference and for constructing table we are taking this table for constructing the table right so for q2 when it is given a it is given phi and for q2 when it is given b it is giving q0 comma q1 so see uh, q0 comma q1 it is processed q2 comma q1 is it processed it is not processed so i'm writing it like this right so q2 when it is given a it is giving phi and q1 when it is given a it is giving q0 right q2 when it is given b it is uh, giving q0 comma q1 and q1 when it is given b it is giving q1 so q1 q1 one of the q1 has to be removed i'm removing this q1 fine so this is how we have constructed a table and i have to check this phi so phi does not if i have given phi with any a or b it will always give phi this is one important thing that you all must know and uh, guys we have processed each and every bit of it uh, from q0 it was given q0 q1 and q2 so we processed q0 comma q1 on left side we process q2 on left side so we got q0 comma q1 and we got q2 comma q1 so we processed q2 comma q1 on left side so it means we are processing each and every bit of it uh, now you can see this uh, part with q1 which is there in this table it is not there in this table so again it is not a mandatory condition that every state of this table this is this table means the base table which is given to us should be present in the output table it is not a constraint the moment you start making dfa from the very row first row onwards you process from that point onwards from q0 i have got q0 comma q1 q2 so i have written q0 comma q1 then q2 then from that we got q2 comma q1 which was not there on left side to be processed so we have written q2 comma q1 right so this is how you are uh, this is how you are going to construct uh, your dfa and let me tell you one thing in this particular aspect so what will be the final state so your final state would be uh, say here it was q2 so wherever q2 is involved that becomes your final state so i'm putting q2 as final state here q2 comma q1 final state over here so how we are going to construct so we are going to construct so initial state was q0 so over here initial state was q0 over here also initial state is q initial state becomes same so in when it is given a it is going with q0 comma q1 when it is given b it is going to q2 so q0 comma q1 when it is given a it goes to itself when it is given b it goes to q2 comma q1 so q2 when it is given a it is going with phi so there is no transition as such so q2 when it is given b it goes to q0 comma q1 so q2 comma q1 when it is given a it is going to q0 and when it is given b it goes to q0 comma q1 so q2 was the final state q1 
comma q1 will become the final state this is how you construct the tfa of this equivalent problem fine i hope this is clear to all if there is any doubt kindly post that in comment section thank you very 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 much